Hey everyone, it is Saturday, November 6th. The time is 3 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 11 degrees Celsius. And I am here at the very west end of town. And this here is a street called the Queensway. And if you were to continue east along the Queensway, it will turn into Queen Street. And that's when you get to the Parkdale neighborhood. And just to the west of here is the city of Mississauga. And for this one, I'll be heading into Sherway Gardens. And this is a mall I haven't been to for quite some time. And we'll just go for a walk around the mall and hopefully finish up back at this entrance here. I parked just off in that direction. And here's a rather nice keg steakhouse. And there's a cactus club location. And just across the street. There's a Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth location. And there used to be a Cineplex Odeon just over there. When I was growing up in Mississauga, that would be one of the regular theaters we would go to. But that has been torn down and since relocated to the east of here over near Ikea. And it's still in Etobicoke though. And at this entrance, there's a Sporting Life, which used to be on the south end of the property. But a recent redevelopment has seen it relocated up here. All right, I'll throw on my mask, which might be a bit tricky since I have it wrapped around the wrist of the hand that I'm using to hold the camera. Apologize for this. I think I would have thought that one through a little better. There we go. And we are ready to go in the mall. So this is a mall that has gone more upscale over the years. It wasn't always full of high-end and luxury brands. It's got a look and feel that's quite similar to Yorkdale, actually. So let's walk around this way. And the last time I was in this mall, I actually went to that Sporting Life. That's where I got my cycling gloves. There's a Samsung store. The mall opened back in 1971, and originally it was a fairly simple S-shaped layout. It's been expanded and renovated several times over the years. And let's go up and check the food court out. Since we're here, I think this is the third location that the food court has been occupied. Has been occupied, has occupied. Back in 1989, they built a large canopy to the south and the food court was located up in that. That was the first time it was relocated. And that whole part of the mall has been redeveloped. 
And now the food court is up here. Oh, I think I might. No, I don't have to show any proof of vaccine to get in here. You would if you're heading into this seated eating area. There's a Thai Express, a McDonald's, a Jimmy the Greek, a Szechuan, some Indian food. I'll just head down and continue walking through the mall here. There's a Chipotle, a bourbon grill, and an Indigo Books. So I think this is the eighth largest mall in the greater Toronto area. And it is managed by Cadillac Fairview. They're the same folks behind the Eaton Center. They are not the company behind Square One and Yorkdale. Mall doesn't have the best transit connections. I think there's a bus that goes from Kipling Subway Station that you can take here, but there's no subway or streetcar. And there's a Mississauga transit connection somewhere around the mall. I'm not sure exactly where. There's a Tesla dealer. And a Canada Goose retailer. Not familiar with a lot of these stores. Peloton, didn't they have a big recall recently? So if you haven't been here in a while, I guess it doesn't look all that familiar. Like I mentioned earlier, it wasn't always a higher end mall. This area here is the center where everything sort of converges. So I imagine this is where there would be a Christmas display and a Santa appearing. There's a Nordstrom straight ahead. That's a recent addition to the mall. And actually, those canopies over there are where the food court used to be. And that Nordstrom used to be a sporting life, and before that, it opened up as a Breton's, which was a higher-end department store. So I'm just going to stick to the left here and keep walking around the outside. There's Lululemon. And if you've seen my other mall walks before, you know I'm not a huge fan of shopping malls. But since I was out this way, I thought, why not? I was just in Port Credit doing a live stream as it's my birthday and I thought I'd go somewhere a bit different. Then I streamed the drive over to this mall after that. Pottery Barn Kids 
and the Pottery Barn. That's quite a lineup. Just to go look at some overpriced wares. So there's an entrance. There's a sport check. And holy cow, it's a Sunrise Records. I'm not sure if this is their original location, but I only seem to remember there being a Sunrise in this mall. And I seem to remember it was right around here. And here is Saks Fifth Avenue. And I think this is where one of the original anchor stores was, which was in Eaton's, which later became a Sears. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. There used to be a whole rent through in this mall, which is a high-end Canadian department store. And I think that store was relocated to Square One, which is a much larger mall than this. Not too far from here, over in the Mississauga City Center. There's a Sweet Jesus, so that'll take you out to the parking lot. There's a Toys R Us on that side of the mall in the parking lot. There's a Colonel's, well known for their freebies. I think they stopped doing that during the pandemic. What are these people lined up for? There's a lineup for the Lego store. And Bath and Body Works maybe. Here we are, back at that central area. At least I think we are. So up on the second floor used to be the food court. That's interesting. I think they called this the million dollar canopy. And over in the corner there, on the second floor, there used to be an arcade. And I remember playing virtual reality there. I played a game called Dactyl Nightmare. And it cost my dad $20, which at the time was a fair bit of money to play a single game at an arcade. A 
There's a Nike store. So I think we've hit a dead end pretty much. Not really going to go for a walk through Nordstrom. roof here is quite iconic. You can see it from all over on the highway as you approach. And if you're coming into Toronto from Mississauga, it's one of the first things you see. Although it's more visible, I think, if you're traveling westbound from Toronto into Mississauga. And here's one of the original anchor stores that's still there, Hudson's Bay. Large Sephora, and what appears to be a vacant spot. Stitch it in the mall. I remember buying a suit once. And the store sent me there to have a few alterations made. Calendar Club. They'll be doing most of their sales in the next few months. There used to be a store called Thrifty's, which later became Blue Notes right around the corner from here. I wonder if that's still there. And we've almost made it all the way around the property here. It only took about 20 minutes or so to cover most of it a place called Christmas Market. Okay, here's where that Blue Note store was. Okay. 
there's a second cup, which is like a Canadian style Starbucks. I think this is just going to lead me back to that center area. I've already taken all the other routes that branch off from here. So I guess it will be impossible to avoid some backtracking here. Head back up, and I'll make my way over to where I started. And then, I think I'll record a driving video from here heading into the city. back to where we started. go we have come pretty much full circle I'm just gonna head back out this way and I think I'll turn around and come back in and find a facility to use but I hope you enjoyed this walk around Sherway Gardens a shopping mall located on the southwest corner of Toronto. I'm parked just out that way there. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel memberships in the description. I also have a link to PayPal and an Instagram account. Anyways, this now 41 year old is going to go use a restroom. So thank you for watching. I guess the exposure is pretty bad right now. It looks like the sun is beating right down on my forehead. It's okay. It's the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.